Hey everyone, Ben Sendall here with Glidefast Consulting. Wanted to go over one of the new features in the HR uh, release for Orlando, and that's the, the new COE security policies that they've added in into the Orlando release. So prior to Orlando, anyone who had the case reader and case writer roles within HR were able to see any cases within any COEs where we've ran into issues on implementations in the past is that there is usually some additional security that is needed to be put around some uh, certain types of cases, normally like your employee relations cases. So wanted to kind of demo out this new feature and show you how we could apply this to uh, cases to put that additional security layer around ER cases within HR. So first to set this up, I'm going to create some new ER cases, just, just as an example here. So um, if I look up employee relations here, COE, I am going to create a case for a disciplinary issue. And then we can now see this case uh, exists. And I'm going to go back to the list view here and create another for the uh, same COE, but the other HR service. So we now will have two employee relations cases that exist out here. And again, I'm, I'm just using uh, a, a personal dev instance in, in Orlando that I've spun up and uh, I've enabled uh, the HRSD core configuration plugin. So we can see we have these two ER cases that exist and um, I am going to now um, pick a user here, Able, and I'm going to add Able to the uh, HR Tier 1 assignment group. So now that I've done that, a lot of roles have been granted to Able. So if I were to impersonate Able here and go look at employee relations cases, you can see Able is able to see all of these, drill into them, work them, do anything that he needs to as a, as a normal HR agent. So I'm going to pop back now to the admin role and look up this new, this new feature that's been added. So we have the COE ACL configuration here. And the way this works is you can simply pick the COE that you want this to apply to. So I'm going to say employee relations cases. For now, I'm going to say this will apply to all HR services within the ER COE. I am going to mark this as active. And right now I'm just going to make this a read uh, ACL. So if I save this, the record is now created and I have uh, an ability down below here on this related list to add groups. So I am going to say, you know, that we're, we want to lock this down to the assignment group, HR employee relations. So what this should mean now is that we have this security policy in place that says only people with the HR employee relations assignment group should be able to read uh, the HR service cases that exist within the ER COE. So to test this out, if I go look at employee relations cases as myself, employee relations cases, I can still see them as admin, of course, edit them. But now if we were to impersonate ABLE again, and then go take a look at ER cases, employee relations cases. You can see now ABLE is not able to see any of these, read them, or even know that they exist. So it looks like that's working perfect. So let's go back over and play with this, kind of see what other uh, things we can do to, to tweak this a little bit. So I am going to go back now to that ACL configuration that I set up and I'm going to make a small change and say, all right, this is only going to apply to some of the uh, services within the COE. Let's say I am going to only apply this to the disciplinary issue. And what this will enable me to do when I save this and impersonate ABLE, ABLE will not be able to see this 
specific HR service, but should be able to see the other one. So let's go check this out real quick. All right, so now let's go look employee relations cases. And you can see, in fact, ABLE is able to see the disciplinary issue inquiry, but not the other one that we have specifically locked down and can now work this case as they would any other normal case that didn't have that additional layer of security on it. So as I go back again, let's see what other changes we can make here. I am going to say that I'm going to change this to a right ACL and see if ABLE is then able to read but not make any changes on this case. So switch that to a right. I'm going to switch back now to ABLE. Go look at employee relations cases. And you can see now ABLE is able to see both. If ABLE looks at the case that has the security on it, the additional security, everything is locked down here. Can't add work notes down below, uh, comments, everything is locked out. No changes can be made. One, one bug I have noticed though, this ready to, for work button is still here, which I wouldn't think should be. If you click that, you can see the state here will change from draft to ready. So not completely uh, locked out from doing everything, but that is a, is a bug I would notice there. The assigned to me, however, doesn't look like it works. You, you could see there it flashed for a second that it assigned to Able Tutor. When it reloaded, it didn't uh, actually have it assigned to him. So you can see that again right there. So it looks like it's sort of working. There must be a few little minor bugs in the background that are preventing it from being fully locked down, but just wanted to point out that feature uh, or bug, sorry. One other thing I want to do is create a case. So I have noticed one additional bug here and I'm gonna set up the set up the COE uh, security to show you what this looks like. So right now we have only locked down the COE for a specific HR service within it. So first let's actually impersonate ABLE again and try to create an HR case. HR, let's go look at all open cases and we'll just hit new. And I'm going to select Abraham Lincoln and I am going to pick an employee relations case. You can see both show up here and that is what I would expect since the, the, um, the documentation here says uh, the COE security policies don't affect case creation. So that leads me to believe you should be able to create cases still. Um, and we can see, in fact, that's the case here. But what I've noticed is if I now go back and edit this COE ACL configuration, and I say this applies to all services within, and I save this, and let's change this back to a read. So now this is preventing ABLE from reading any of the cases within the COE. And if I go back now and impersonate ABLE and select the uh, create a new case and Abraham Lincoln, and you can see the COE has completely been removed from the COE list here. I, I cannot select anything in, in the ER cases. And that seems to be in conflict with, with, again, what is being written here in the documentations that it shouldn't affect the case creation, that we should still be able to view or modify, or, or we should still be able to create that case, but it doesn't appear that we can. So I just wanted to point out that feature, or again, bug, um, that perhaps that'll be fixed uh, quickly here in, in one of the, the later hot fixes. The other thing that I noticed is even though we have restricted ABLE from seeing all ER cases, it, that doesn't affect the, uh, the modules here on the left. So for example, I can still click and see 
ER cases in the left nav, but if I try to view them, they don't, of course, don't show, but a good, you know, step to take would be to edit this module here to then mirror the changes that you've made to the, the COE ACL configuration. So in our example, we've limited that to the HR employee relations group. So we would probably want to do the same on this module on the left. So it's not showing for people who shouldn't be able to see that. So I hope uh, this is helpful. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over this feature um, just because it was something I was really excited about uh, to see that they've added in Orlando since we have this as a pretty common ask on a lot of projects that we uh, implement where uh, companies want additional security around certain COEs. So glad to see movement in the right direction here and ServiceNow baking this into the, the core platform in Orlando. So again, thanks everyone. See you later.